Do you think there's such a thing as a perfect vagina? I'm Yoon Kim. I explore the world of sex, drugs, and life on the edge. I'm on the quest for the perfect vagina, and it starts right now. We are in the first step of my journey, starting off here with Jennifer getting a vajazzle of a heart. How long have you been doing this? Four years. Has it gotten more popular? Yeah, it's very popular. What about waxing? Like, how have waxing trends changed over the years? I want to say in the 90s, early 2000s, everyone was going nude. And now that the times have changed, more younger people are leaving more of a landing strip or a triangle. Why? Personally, for myself, I just don't want to look like a little young girl down there. I want to leave a little bit behind just so I feel more of a woman. Why do you think younger girls want to shave everything off versus older women? They feel that maybe men don't like the hair, so they want to take it all off, versus women that are leaving it, they're just more comfortable with themselves yeah. and have realized that this is more for them. This is how they feel sexy. You want to check it out? It's all done. Oh, it's done already? Yeah. I can actually say I have a shining pussy. Yeah, <laughs> it's sparkling. Do you think there's such a thing as a perfect vagina? No, I've seen many vaginas. I think it's just how you feel about it, how comfortable you are, how you feel about yourself. We are in the office of Dr. Kat, who is a board certified plastic surgeon who specializes in vaginal makeovers. What is your most popular surgery related to vaginas? The most common procedure I perform related to vaginas is labiaplasty, mm -hmm. which is trimming and shaping the labia minora. So okay. if you're wondering what that is, it's basically the inner lip that on a lot of women has asymmetry, hangs out. I mean, you know how it is. For women, we just overanalyze every little thing about ourselves. I know mm -hmm. that I do that for myself. Mm -hmm. And I mean, come on, the vagina is just as important as any other part of your body. Where does this obsession with perfection down there come from? Usually there's something specific that really bothers them mm -hmm. or they just feel like it looks kind of ugly because it's not something that a lot of people see. The motivating factor is women wanting to do something that makes themselves feel more comfortable and feel better. I do a lot. I mean, I do several a week. I've done three in a day. So it's super common. Has the number gone up over the past couple of years? I think so, just because I think more women are becoming aware that there's something that can be done. Do you think there's such a thing as a perfect vagina? Yes. All of my post-op patients have a perfect vagina. I have like vagina envy every time I do one of these surgeries. Yeah. I just, there's just no one that I would trust to touch me. <laughs> We're here to talk to an unlikely opponent of labiaplasty and vaginal makeovers, adult film star Casey Kelbert. All vaginas are beautiful, and as an adult performer, I really feel like the porn world lets all vaginas be beautiful, and that, that women don't need to be going under the knife to chop up their labia. I don't, I don't think it's necessary. What do you think about the overall practice of vaginal makeovers? I think it's the American culture towards sex and our attitude towards sex about how sex is this really great thing and we should all be having sex, but also sex is dirty and wrong. And so we have to make it as pretty as possible with our vajazzles and our heart-shaped pubic hair and all of the things that we do. Two it's totally the intersection of those, of those things that create this unachievable idealization of sex. Do you have operations for people who don't necessarily want a surgery? There's a new device that is a temperature controlled radio frequency machine called Thermiva. It builds collagen, increases blood flow, and does a lot of tightening. But more importantly, the majority of the women felt that it actually increased their sensitivity and wow. orgasms on the clitoral area and also the G spot. I love it. You do have a pretty perfect vagina. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna, you're gonna feel, touch. All right, okay, and that's it. It's so, on? Yeah. It doesn't feel hot at all. Yeah, it is. It's like, like a hot stone massage. It feels like someone's hot finger is stroking my vaginal area, but in a very massaging way. It's not making me horny. It's relaxing. This is like Botox for vaginas. It is. 
How much do these sessions cost? Usually they're around $1,500 per session. Mm -hmm. How much is a typical labiaplasty? I tell people on average it's anywhere from $8,000 to $12,000 depending on the complexity. So how do you feel? It wasn't as bad as you thought, right? Not at all. Like I can't, it, like it doesn't feel different. You know, maybe it'll be different when I touch it, but it feels like, you know, I just got a nice little massage on my vagina. Now your quest is over. It looks perfect. I think it's kind of sad that so many women are so concerned about what their labia looks like. They really don't understand where that pressure is coming from. If you want to do it, it's your body. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and do it. I don't think it's something that's necessary for anybody to do for any reason other than it's your body. Do what you want with it. You're like, I want to live in a mansion. You could get there by building your own mansion with whatever you fucking got in front of you. Practice and practice.